Okay, happy teachers. We have created our test questions. Here they are. You can see that they're all properly formatted in a text, simple text format. So let's import our questions into our test generator, into our test uh, management system. We are looking at the Moodle interface. It is I've s this particular set of questions, or batching questions rather, is regarding security and computer security specifically. So we will import these questions from file into the category called security, click on import questions. It takes a second for it to think about it. We are importing GIFT format. Repeat, we are importing GIFT format. Although there are lots of other uh, formats, we're using GIFT. And you can read more about the GIFT format by clicking on the uh, question mark here in the Moodle interface. We'll do that later. Browse to find this document, which is usually on the desktop because I'm lazy that way. Let's set the details, date modified, and this is the most recent file. There it is, JHG, JHG. So we click on this file, click open, upload this file, and match the following terms to their definitions. Look at that spelling error. Continue. And now, since we're already here, let's go ahead and correct that error. These errors <coughs> happen, so do corrections. To their definitions, and we have our answers and our questions all properly laid out. Let's take a look, save our changes, and let's preview this question that we've just imported. Click on the magnifying glass icon, click, opens up, and in a moment we can see what our question will look like. Goodness gracious me. You can see that there is no text wrap in our field drop downs, so we have a bit of a problem with matching questions that are more than, say, probably 256 characters. Uh, I'll post this as a bug to the Moodle forum, but be that as it may, Importing questions and managing questions electronically is very easy, and you can do all of this with a free program called Moodle. Thank you very much, and happy computing.